bitch, cowboy, bitch, you what? I'm the cow. What's that? I'm an alien. Oh no, oh no. Don't worry, I come in peace. Hehe, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> well, I don't. Pew, 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 pew. I lied, neither do I. Pew, 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 pew. Hi, I'm Jeff Becker, uh, creator of Alterkind. Here to talk to you about my new book, Planetary Survey. Inside Planetary Survey, you'll find all sorts of... Dude. Blank pages. That sucks. Um, I guess that's why I need your help. Um, so, I'm here to talk to you about it. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a little flip book there. Uh, a little bit further. Yeah. No. Over... Yeah, right there. So, inside that is what I kind of hope it looks like when it's all done. To help me out, I'm here to beg for your money. Um, got all sorts of great pledge levels, starting with this cool little sticker here for just a couple bucks. Um, further levels include these sweet little pins with all sorts of the new races. Got the Paracor, the Oldham, and the Etikin. Different levels include some of the books in different formats, including, of course, Planetary Survey, because that's what this is for. Um, other ones include the Player's Handbook, which inside you'll find all sorts of stuff like uh, prestige classes, mutations, cybernetics. Um, further, you can go ahead and pledge and get Dossier. It's my second book. It's in beautiful color. Check that out. It's full of more class options. You can customize everything, all that. And then you can also go ahead and get The Ones We Were. It's a module for it. Got uh, all sorts of cool little mutants in there. Aliens crash. There's a crazy cult leader. Um, also, if you go ahead, you can get this awesome GM screen uh, designed by Stephen McAndrews. He's a pretty sweet dude. On the back is all the helpful information so you don't get lost. Um, yeah, so uh, that's my stuff. I hope you check it out. Share with your friends, anyone that might be interested in... You know, role-playing, use a D20 Pathfinder kind of system. Um, yeah, great. And thank you for checking me out. I look forward and I'm hopeful that you help me out. Later. Oh, hey, um, I forgot to tell you about some of the reviews that I've got. Um, Denver Comic Con calls me a favorite. Uh, there was a guy there that said, hey, this looks pretty cool. I think I'll tell my friend about it. Um, my mom, she says, that's nice, dear. And she also thinks I'm very handsome. So uh, thanks for checking me out. Um, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and tell your friends about it. And thanks again. I'm Scott Gable here at Zombie Sky Press. You ever wish you had more Pathfinder role-playing game options for the Fey? More delightfully weird options? As a longtime lover of the Fey, I've been hunting far and wide for more ways to incorporate them into my gaming life. And the answer, my friends, is the Fairy Ring. This is the book that gets into the nitty-gritty, into the down and dirty of all things Fey. It spills all their darkest secrets and pulls out your inner trickster. This is the book the Fey do not want you to read. But we've got you back, friends. We think you need to know, and soon. We're so close to finishing this first step, and the design and the illustrations are blowing us away. The book has ten chapters focused on powerful fey lords. Maybe they're the bad guys in a campaign, maybe they're the patrons of the party, maybe they're both. Each chapter provides extensive details on a specific fey lord and their servitors. Each chapter has a new fey player race, new fey monsters, cities, planes, and more. I can't wait for you to see what we have planned, and I hope you'll support Zombie Sky Press in bringing you more fay.
of this car, Robert? Yeah. Which you got for the kids? He's got pretty much 10 inches. Uh, oh, Gilberto, you uh, take your Oh, Oh, can you pass me that yellow tape? No, the uh, yellow. I'll use it for this day. I know Dave's bringing the other one. Oh. If you know, he's a little behind him, you can just put him right behind him. So watch. This is eight inches. So you can actually put it in front. So here's your eight inches. And then the extra two will pop. So that would be basically him flying ahead. So now you go to your shooting phase. And now you deploy within your eight inch to eight inch. You should pretty much be all in the room. Yeah, Alright, there you go. Bill gives this very concentrated bar on one, and you want to split the I suggest concentrated bar on one. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. So then they're so, all within that primary range. But. So let's look. Yeah, that's not a 10, so it's ignore that. Now you're within 20, so let's look at your 4. They have 5 dice each. So, if you combine all of them, you will get 5, which is the original loop. And then you add these two up and divide it by 2. So it would be 5. But it'd be four, because he's now one, nine, half now is four. So essentially, you get five, like four, inches, huh? nine shots. Alright, so 11 inches it is. So, are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Roll for initiative. We just did. Oh, that was remember when we rolled before? No, that was for deployment. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's the scary part. So you need fours or better. So, so that's one, two, three, yeah. four dice. So plus six. one, right? What? Look at your yeah, damage rating. Plus one do I? Six. I think so. Just, I don't see anything on here that tells me I get a plus one uh, for. Uh, no, no. You, your basically your fleet bonus is three. His fleet bonus is two. So you add plus three to your roll, and he adds plus two to his oh, roll. Oh, so yeah. Or yeah. you get plus, plus one. one. Right. Yeah. All right. So the easiest way is to say plus one. Yeah. All right. So I get eleven inches. Now with your weapons, you have to be careful because his weapons are starboard port. And mine are, his torpedoes are 360. And mine are all four. Four fixed, actually. So what you have to do is you have to look at your base, and you actually have to laser beam the width of your base towards a ship. Dendrenzi, which are the orange ships you see there, are very much like that. They are very forward heavy. Okay. I mean, they throw out a lot of dice, but yeah. you have to fix to, towards the enemy. Oh, and here we go. I know the game's again bringing the other one. Now these are the Watch firing arcs right here? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Four fixed essentially means the width of the base. Is this like exactly. that way or that? Uh, yeah. Ah, here we go. This is perfect. Here we go. You can use this. Here you go. You can use this. This is four inches, and then this is your turn if you want to try. Alright. Well, oh, there's a. There's, there's, there's 11 inches. Uh, oh, uh, shots, right? Yes. So okay. now you declare shots. Now four fixed. I got nothing. Yeah. But you do have four torpedoes, which I can fire. Exactly. And that's four. It's anywhere within the photograph. Yeah, at 45 degree out. Okay. Now the cool thing is, normally if you're shooting through asteroids, it's half your dice because you're hitting the asteroids. But with torpedoes, because they're guided missiles, yep. they ignore that. So I'm rolling four dice regardless. Yes, and yeah, his his now if I torpedoes change his go. Okay. So here's the thing. It's uh well I'm up to 48 inches. I've definitely got 48 inches. Oh yeah. That's not even a, that's not even a backer. My thing is though is that. Uh, if I if I were to fire them all like combined, can I do that and then get the, can I get the extra? Now, you can do three sets of four, but when you start combining, you take that second result and you half it. So right. let's say you do four right. and then you combine two more. Right. It's four plus four divided by two, which is four on oh, top of four. four, which is eight. Right. But the thing is, is that it's more hits at a time on one guy. Exactly. If you separate your torpedoes, he gets a chance on his shield to deflect it each time. Right. If you combine them, he only has one chance to do it, but you get less right. overall dice. Right. Um, so we're going to do that. So there's the four for the initial, there's the two, four for the other two. And who are you targeting? Uh, we'll target the guy in the front. All right. I mean, so it's, four, five, it, it doesn't matter. Right? They all have to go through the... Uh, through nope. the terrain anyway, which doesn't matter because as you said, it's torpedoes in the background. Looking for four, fives, and sixes, correct? Exactly. All right, four, fives, and sixes. We are looking. Oh, hey, 
There's one, there's there, there's there, and one of these. Okay, so, so you got three sixes, so you essentially get three more. Wow, that was. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> well, you got a chance to stop it because torpedoes get gunned down. And I got two, more, and I got two more hits. So, All right, so now one, let's look two, at you. Three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine your hits. crit rating is only five. So yeah. you need a good roll here. So let's see. He has one shield. Let's use black for now. Okay. Now he also has one PD. However, he does have his friends who contribute a minimum of one PD each. Oh, okay. Now, if they were like two PD, two PD, boot, two PD, you divide it by two and then add it in. Okay. But they're only one, so the minimum one, you add one, two, three more. One, two, three. Oh, that's so you should have. Wait, you should have one more. You should have five. So you basically have a shield, a turret, and then the three PDs from them. Five in total. And then what am I looking for on Four, fives, and sixes, and sixes explode as well. Question. Yes. Uh, so you got two hits and Sorry. you get one more reroll. Five of the two is it seven or six? Do I have six. to have the two? So one, two, three, you four, have five. To add it in. So it's a difference of four. <laughs> okay. But so basically, yeah. you have one more. Like the HP that takes four HP to all the first guy. It's four hits. Now the point of that is, you're I don't know. I got away from shot, but he only has one chance to get shields or PD to stop. Right. All right. So we have a difference of four in my favor. So four in your favor, so let's look at your damage rating, crit rating, four, five. You essentially just stopped yourself from exploding through a cloud of dust. Because if, you, you, if he only had five through, you would have just exploded. But you only got, you only got four through, which is a damage. That was extremely lucky. <laughs> I figured you have damage markers in there somewhere. And now it's your activation. Oh, that's right. Oh, for turning, just to let you know. You're at a turn limit zero, meaning you can move zero inches and it's immediately turned. Okay. Him, on the other hand, because we're Dendrenzi and we're fat, is essentially what it is. He actually has a turn limit of one. So, so he actually has to move one inch and then he has to turn. Okay. Your guys are more nimble. Yeah. The other guy is also doing six, but I gotta have that for three. Exactly. So it's a total of nine. Five, one, three. Yeah. Which one are you adding at? The, the forward one. No, that's the one in front. Go ahead. Not normally, again, you would have shield to stop this, but our, your race doesn't believe in shield, essentially. Your race is more of, let's both armor on. It's like, uh, this game? It's my dexterity. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work armor in close Yeah. So you roll the sixes, even though he's pretty much dead, you still roll, but he is absolutely 100% dead. Now, the cool thing about this game is once you start using the mediums and the bigs, it they crit also, and it crit also has a tape. So you range anywhere from shutting down weapons to uh, bolting off more armor to corroding the armor to my right. personal favorite double ones, which is you. You probably need to measure the ranges. Yeah. And if it would explode, so. you take the amount of hull points times two and you hit anything within four inches. There are reasons not to fly cluster. I mean, exactly. It's, I mean, the point of that is not to each other, but it's not to each other. Now you're probably going to want to get within 10 inches. Start rolling those ones. Oh yeah, this is it for your Four. initiative. Oh, yeah. Looks like 34 and 35 for my lead. All right, so let's see what we got. So you are in range bands of 10s and 12s. So you are in, you should have 34, 35. So this one, you're right over here. So you get two dice for each guy. Or, well, the Wait, do you actually have to move or can you stay in one place? You have to move your minimum, half your minimum distance. Yeah. Momentum, so you would have to move five, essentially. I, I, I need to move to four or five. Or yeah. Or five. You always have to move to four or five. Hey, let's go, man. So, each of them can get two dice, and you can do two, two, two. Remember, if you look at the angle, they're going to be shooting the asteroid field. So maybe you want to start jumbling them up. So you do it that way, it's two. And two, two, two. Okay. Half down is three. Okay. And then you're shooting to the asteroid, so another half down is. Because it's a round down um, Or you could do one, 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 which is probably not going to be effective. Oh, okay. So you get two dice, but then you can't get those other things effective at this range anyway. So it's three targets. Alright, what would you guys say? Yeah, really much of anything, Jamie. Actually, you could have been So you only have one success, and your damage rate is all in three. Three, so that's nothing. I'm not even going to bother to roll against this. So now you do your, now you do your torpedoes. Okay. Now the good thing is your torpedoes are actually great at all the range. So you kind of want to hover outside of 36 inches. So you got, you measure from peg to peg. So you got these two, just a millimeter out of 36, which is hilarious. So you have him. Now 
normally your weapons would degrade. However, torpedoes do not. Yep, and torpedoes do not degrade. Normally you would take one off these numbers, because essentially your damage, if you blew off a weapon, you would Torpedoes never do that, though. So the lead guy gets three, and each one of these get four. So who do you want to be the primary target? Oh, the four, exactly. So you take four, and then you do four plus four plus three, which is eleven. Half down is five. So essentially, you get nine torpedoes. Now, who are you targeting? This gentleman right here. All right. That's their job. They're torpedoes. He just did six. So that's just a five. With only two guys? Yeah, he, he rolled four dice. One of them was a six. I have a four there. <laughs> well, well, one of them. Wow, that's. Now here's the cool thing though, you do have stuff with one. Oh my god. Was a one. And so how many of you have one, two, three, four. four. That is actually a hit unless I get the... Uh, oh, I have a speed. So now let's, yeah, so let's look at your PD now. You, have, you don't believe you have shields, you're in Drenzy. You yeah. Shields to you are basically the puny version of a Terran thing. I have a PD of two. So, so oh, but the other guys can right. buy in. So it would be two, and then half and half to a total of one. So, okay, so I get uh, four gold. Exactly. And essentially you want to stop two. Uh, yeah. So what I was trying to tell you is, remember, you have Starboard and Portland. So you somehow managed to get somewhere like a one. You get Starboard and Portland sometime. And have your turret go on something. Nope, I'm still taking a damage. Wow. Yeah, I only had a success of one. So he's got one, two, three, four, which comes down to three, which is still on the shoulder. And then, after the turn finishes, you refresh and you roll the mission. Okay. There's a lot of open ground, and yeah, I guess. But if there's terrain. Hopefully he doesn't win, because now he's in good optimal six. So he gets six, and you have seven. So, uh, oh, you get plus, plus one. Plus so one. Seven. It's tied, so roll again. So he's got a nine, six, seven, seven. seven. So you go. Now this is that time you want to start killing off those shots. You want to think about maybe moving in some way, trying to deflect his shots. Remember, his shots are very, very full range. Very scary at the full range. They throw six dice a pop. Wow. Seriously, uh, uh, the whole thing. Oh yeah, he could have just tilted a little bit. So here you have the starboard port, and then you could probably add the turrets on the side. And then over here you have the four for the torpedoes. So essentially you're looking for the one-two punch, if you will. I have starboard and So, let's look at you. And you have, at this range, I'm not using this is an You are inside of eight. So you have four dice, and if you want to add in the dice, still to a minimum of one. So it would be five dice to kick him, and the torpedoes would be three dice against him. Okay. And that's one. All right. We're looking for the one-two punch here. That's for three. Yeah, that's him dead already, because he's only got two of them. Well, right. yes. I don't know. Three dice for torpedoes. Three the five. So now, torpedoes are three. Firestorm or model. Mm -hmm. So you only got two. Normally he would roll his PD, but so now you refresh again. Oh boy, Bag versus Friggin. Who's going to literally. My Friggin. I don't know. He's got the, I know, he's got the beam weapon. It's scary. He uses the chance to get that like. Uh, you got about 27 now for the first guy. Yeah, I'm going to go with three. Now, do you, when you put them together, do you measure distance from each of you? Yeah, oh, well, yes. yes. Yeah. From peg to peg, yeah. Yeah. Tanks have to make a TQ. Yeah. Uh, you got about 31 on that. 27, 31. So that's five. Did cool. you move these two? I did move them. Yeah. So, 27, 31, and then, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. I'm assuming, now remember, you, you don't have to let the same target. You could do one beam here, one beam there, you could do two guys against one, two guys against one. Gotcha. You could do one against one. It's all, they're all essentially squatted, but independent as well. Gotcha. So, with beams, you're looking at inside of 30 and outside of 30. So range band two and range band three. And these guys are looking at, funny enough, inside of 30 and outside of 30. Or outside of 30 if you're looking at the other ones. So you could combine them all together and essentially pop that ship, mm -hmm. or you could start picking at the other ships if you want. Also, keep in mind, those guys in the back are going to be shooting through terrain. 
Yeah, that was the one. Oh, why don't we go all so Scott? Okay. Only Here, try to save them all, huh? Three days. Yeah. All right. Let's see if you get them. How many dice do I have? Well, we're all going for this one guy. All right. right. So, I would, now he's down one dice. So instead of getting four dice, he only gets three, which is still more than that. And now he would get half dice. He would only get two. So essentially, you would want to take it from him because he's going to provide. So here's the primary. Mm -hmm. So now you have two. Right? Mm -hmm. Now this gets halved. Mm -hmm. So we're going to look at two, or sorry, four and two mm -hmm. down to three. And because they're adding into here, and you round down, you it's going to come down to whoever the additional two. Okay. That's how it would work. We're looking for fours and fives and sixes again. Four, five, oh, yeah, six, yeah. yeah. Your turn limit zero. You're absolutely fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. The one hit there. Turn limit one are the fat ones. Okay. And two, three hits. And that's enough to kill me. Yep. So you, you pop one, essentially. Okay. Now the torpedoes are going where? Now, I probably should have warned you at the time, sure. but it's fine, because I... You have to declare all your targets at the beginning, okay. because sometimes the torpedoes will whiff off into the distance, mm -hmm. but I'm assuming you were going to declare that another one to shift. I'll we'll do that. All right. So, I two, mm, two, you're not going to be in the good range, though. Which one is one? We're looking at... Yeah, they're all within... Oh, well, he's not, so... Funny enough, he still has his four dice. Okay. The rest of them have three. So okay. who would you want to be the primary, essentially? I guess the lead guy, right? No, because he only gets three. Okay. Not, not because of the damage, but because he's in closer range. Okay. So you probably want to take the one with the most dice. Okay. So it'd be three, 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 nine, half down is four. You did say eight. And you get again two and half once you get three to stop. Yep. You so it's not that guy. It's when you're doing the right. having this round down, but if it's one, it's still half. So two, yes, exactly. down, down, okay. one. four, four five, five, and then unless two rerolls. The, unless the weapon is reduced. There is another hit, and you get one more. Because you had two sixes. Oh. All right, so you one, six. two, six hits. Which means if I don't defend anything, then he dies. Oh, yeah. come on. Oh, wow. So <laughs> actually, whoa, that just whoa. stopped it. That stopped it automatically. Yeah, let's just see how good they actually so could have done. Two, three, Probably five. shoot more torpedoes than you actually have. <laughs> hey, Rich. That's the new map, huh? Yeah. That's <laughs> sexy time. That's oh my really God, nice. Beautiful. So it's, it's still like a goal. All right, so, uh, so that makes it my turn. one point, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you need the measure tool. I'm Jeff Becker, uh, creator of Alterkind. I'm here to talk to you about my new book, Planetary Survey. Inside Planetary Survey, you'll find all sorts of... Dude. Blank pages. That sucks. Um, I guess that's why I need your help. Um, so, I'm here to talk to you about it. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a little flip book there. Uh, a little bit further. Yeah. No. Over... The yeah, right there. So inside that is what I kind of hope it looks like when it's all done. To help me out, I'm here to beg for your money. Um, got all sorts of great pledge levels, starting with this cool little sticker here for just a couple bucks. Um, further levels include these sweet little pins with all sorts of the new races. Got the Paracor, the Oldham, and the Etikin. Different levels include some of the books in different formats, including, of course, Planetary Survey, because that's what this is for. Um, other ones include the Player's Handbook, which inside you'll find all sorts of stuff like uh, prestige classes, mutations, cybernetics. Um, further, you can go ahead and pledge and get Dossier. It's my second book. It's in beautiful color. Check that out. It's full of more class options. You can customize everything, all that. And then you can also go ahead and get the ones we were. It's a module for it. Got uh, 
all sorts of cool little mutants in there. Aliens crash. There's a crazy cult leader. Um, also, if you go ahead, you can get this awesome GM screen uh, designed by Stephen McAndrews. He's a pretty sweet dude. On the back is all the helpful information so you don't get lost. Um, yeah, so uh, that's my stuff. I hope you check it out. Share with your friends, anyone that might be interested in... You know, role playing, use a D20 Pathfinder kind of system. Um, yeah, great. And thank you for checking me out. I look forward and I'm hopeful that you help me out. Later. Oh, hey, um, I forgot to tell you about some of the reviews that I've got. Um, Denver Comic Con calls me a favorite. Uh, there was a guy there that said, Hey, this looks pretty cool. I think I'll tell my friend about it. Um, my mom, she says, That's nice, dear. And she also thinks I'm very handsome. So uh, thanks for checking me out. Um, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and tell your friends about it. And thanks again. Oh. Hi, I'm Scott Gable here at Zombie Sky Press. You ever wish you had more Pathfinder role-playing game options for the Fae? More delightfully weird options? As a longtime lover of the Fae, I've been hunting far and wide for more ways to incorporate them into my gaming life. And the answer, my friends, is the Fairy Ring. This is the book that gets into the nitty gritty, into the down and dirty of all things Fae. It spills all their darkest secrets and pulls out your inner trickster. This is the book the Fae do not want you to read. But we've got you back, friends. We think you need to know, and soon. We're so close to finishing this first step and the design and the illustrations are blowing us away. The book has 10 chapters focused on powerful fey lords. Maybe they're the bad guys in a campaign, maybe they're the patrons of the party, maybe they're both. Each chapter provides extensive details on a specific fey lord and their servitors. Each chapter has a new fey player race, new fey monsters, cities, planes, and more. I can't wait for you to see what we have planned and I hope you'll support Zombie Sky Press in bringing you more fey. And well, as we did go turn, I need measure tool. You're going to have to try to. Well, I have to turn, I can't do anything else. It reduces speed? No. The engine's still going. Now, what's funny is if you crit, if you have a bigger ship, you can target the engines. Let's do this. The game itself is what I like to call, it's very easy to learn, but it's miles wide of tactics. Because you can actually target engines, you can target weapons. You send Gordy parties over, you can target certain parts of the ship. But it's modular, like those are like, like the optional rules, so to say. So no, those you're... are the actual rules. See, these are frigates because if you crit them, they're dead anyway. Right. But if I were to put in a big ship here and you crit him, you roll on the team. Or yeah. if you want, if you want, some yeah. ships are better than others at targeting certain parts of the ship. So, so you could target someone's weapons or engines and kind of slow them down to prevent them from turning. Right. It's what it should have been. Oh. You better win this or you're gone. This is from Frontline Gaming. This is from. Hex Ward. Hex. I'm running. You don't even need your other cards. So you that's you're it. Just that's running, yeah. basically? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Hexagon mode. Yeah. How much are these books? 95. There we go. That's what I needed. Oh. Well, where are you getting straight on? That's. Yeah. I would turn a little, Remember, I would turn a little, You don't have to turn the full way. I would turn a little less because right now, <laughs> head to peg. Let's see what we got. Oh, no, you're actually. The problem wow. This is one of your weapons. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Head to peg. You might want to turn, so because you don't have any aspects. Okay. Do you always have to go the full eleven? Nope. Oh, you go up to half oh. of the full moon. Okay. Unless there's your engines get blown in the water. Gotcha. Essentially. Yeah, that isn't well. Well. I forget what it's called, but they actually had like you can keep increasing your speed. Well, what's funny in this game is that you have and this is if you see the cards down there, you have tactical cards. Mm -hmm. So you can actually modify your ships to go certain speeds or. You could steal the initiative or, you know, More random than things. 10, less okay. than 15. That's what we do. So, otherwise, he's got to shoot Here's the fun part. You see, now here's what the Drenzig do, and this is the scary part about our army. Uh, measuring tape. I gotta get in that. I'm trying to get that. The 12 to 24. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to get the 12 to 24 range. That's what I'm hoping for. 
Uh, yep. Let's see, four. Let me, let me do it this way. Put it this way. That's 24, and you're definitely inside out. Yep. And then the other guy is facing this way, so he's going to... Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's, that's the 12 to 24, definitely, right there. Yep. And so, uh, 12 to 24 gets me... Yeah, it's, it's, Right yeah, you got yeah, you got him. Okay, essentially. Yeah, so, but I gotta shoot the terrain. You can choose to combine, but I gotta shoot. I gotta shoot the terrain. Oh, yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. So, but here's the thing: he gets six shots. Whoa, so, oh, God, I didn't know you were right there. <laughs> he gets six shots, so you could choose to. He has six shots. Right. So you could choose to combine in the other shots, or you could choose to kind of split them up. That's cool, kind of cool thing with the is Our frigates, you don't really need to combine them. They're very much. But I can't combine it because he's not. It's not in his arc. Oh, true. So that's it. I kind of. With the torpedoes is kind of what I was. Oh well, with torpedoes I, I can do secondary. Uh, well, I got to declare, but I got to do secondary. Okay, so here's the deal. We're gonna do. His, his uh, main gun here to, we'll do it to the, uh, the guy who's already damaged, we'll do his, his main gun, shape hands, that's a good game. So essentially that's the game in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to lose half my dice anyway, either way, it's a case of I, either I'm shooting the guy who's too far and I, I'm at three, or I shoot through the terrain. And I get the guy at three. Exactly. The guy at three. So I'm good either way. So we'll take the guy who's behind Drain now. And torpedoes to... These are just the frames. We're going to do combined These torpedoes. torpedoes and the heavy. We shoot main gun to the side of the front, but the guy in the back is the one getting all the torpedoes. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Do you, do you, do you, do you know where we're going with us? Uh, Don't yeah. start to be a big hero. That guy off the left. Essentially, and then torpedoes and the guy in the middle. Okay. So one guy's getting this guy's getting hit. This guy's getting hit. And there are a lot of races. These are only main gun, one, two, main gun, gotcha. three, Here. four, five. These are five out of the torpedo races. Gotcha. Okay, now, each now race we're going to race very okay. differently. I just want to make sure we're all clear. Is, each race I don't, I don't want you claiming I'm cheating, yo. Each race is like okay, so two, very good. five. It's own little kind of faction. Six. For example, you have the Terrans, Nukes. That was not a roll, that was me just losing dice because I have no fucking control, I guess. Well. Alright, so little, they're doing the armor. First thing we're doing is the Terrancy. They're more than the guys in front. Essentially, it's gun strategy. It's a to gun. Two is essentially what it is. Six. The Terrakians, which are oh, gravity oh, weapons. Oh, you can push and pull shit. Okay, so I get three reloads. Essentially, so you, you actually do move them. Oh, yeah, four. you can push them to a planet, which is their very other hand. Four and a half. I have four. You have those are right there. Six, you have the Ryu Shen hits. Very SRS okay. or battle okay. carrier. You have enough to. And then you have shield and die. Right? I think so. Shield, right? Drenzy friends. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's actually, actually, I guess you could in theoretically you roll up sixes. <laughs> and if you're right. interested, like I said, are you really gonna pull this off? No. No. I call shenanigans. No. Okay, your your guy's dead. <laughs> die. Just get 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 them off. Get them off. I swear to God, that was, I was literally gonna flip both tables at the same time. That actually. Whoa, he rolled a six on a shield. He rolled a six. Okay, he rolled a six on the first one, then. Five on the second one. So I'm thirty. Right. Uh, I'm sure really, he's like, well, I get a defense roll. I'm like, well, yeah, you got shield, so you got. And that's how you play tennis. <laughs> oh, he's still dead. So okay, yeah, it's all right. Uh, all right. Yeah, so we're right. doing three dice from here, here to the guy from the back corner. Five, like we talked about before. And then I'm yeah. 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 So three dice. That was where you and nothing. With? I'm just saying. All right. Now we're gonna do the torpedoes on this guy. Four, five, plus two, plus half for the other guy. So six. So actually winning was bad. That is actually pretty good. Well, what's yeah. funny is he could have so, chosen you to go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There? In this game, it's not a forced, I guess, it's not a forced initiative. Like if you win, you could make the other person go first. Absolutely. Absolutely. And had he chosen, no, 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 no. had he chosen this, what he's playing now, their big range bands are 24, or 12 okay. to 36. So, one, so two, two say, oh, you're all the way over six, there. eight. Ten hits. Okay, so what do I have to roll here? How many sixes? All right, so you have, your, yeah. you have your one shield. Mm -hmm. So you have your one shield. Because uh, it's, it's not a torpedo hit, it's a red No, this hit. is the torpedo hit. Oh, this is the torpedo. So you have your one shield. Right. So let's, hold on. And now let's look at your PD. So you have one PD. So and each of these you know, contribute one PD. All right, let's so you have an additional three to that hit. Fail, fail, fail. Okay. Got a six and a four. So I guess okay. we roll that one six. Yep. So you have one, two, three, four, five. So let's remove. Five. I have. T I have ten. Ten. Let's look at your five. That's destroyed. Crit. Oh. Yep. Boom. Oh, that was actually. Oh, oh hallelujah! We're back down to like parody. <laughs> Holy smokes! That was actually quite. Quite eventful. Wow. That was very unexpected. All right. So two dice for for initiative. You want to? You want to first one? Take off. Uh, nine comes out to ten for me. I got just yeah. eight. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. 
Now, everybody has to move, right? Uh, half move. their full speed. Half full speed at the very least. Okay, let me figure out where this first guy is going to wind up. And, and don't get I an asteroid. For the love of all that's holy, don't hit the asteroid. I think I can get around that, actually. Remember, your turn limit one, so you want to move one inch before you turn. I have to move at least one. Well, at least one inch, yeah. Don't, don't go confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Here. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. And you know what? You might as well just get in your face at this point, I think. I need to get in under 10 inches for you. I'm mean, I've got the other ten inches, but I got another two inches to move anyway, so we're gonna do it anyway. So that puts me at eleven. One. There's my turn. So that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'll reset that guy. Yeah. Ten. And then he has to be full. Well, he doesn't have to move forward inch, but I'll keep him there because the torpedoes are four. Yeah. But he won't get the kinetic. He definitely won't because he only have one more inch. I don't give a big if I get to the end of it, goes up. Because he's got. Uh, I want to get, yeah, I want to get in under that gun, so I'm willing to, I'm willing to take the extra So, there, sorry, this guy was very directly on the floor. So I'm just going to tilt him back. Alright, so. Get out of my mode. Shot here. Alright. He's going to have no assist. He's got a direct shot to the guy in front of him. And then torpedoes, you declare now. I know, I'm thinking about how it is. So obviously he's shooting him because that's his option. This one right here? No, kinetic, stuff, kinetic gotcha. to the guy on red, tor combine torpedoes to the other guy. That's, I think, how I'm going to have to do this. And we'll see how you, If I can whittle you down to one, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, this is definitely somewhere within the 12 inch band, so I've got four dice for kinetics, because I'm going to take care of that first. Uh, so four dice. I have two sixes and a four. Two rerolls. There's another six. I got another reroll. I'm burning these dice. Alright, so one, two, uh, one, three, five, seven. And you have your one sheet of ascension. So I just roll one die? Yep. Yeah. Uh -oh. Using the kinetics. Uh-oh. He's got one, so that's six, so he's still... That's vaporized. Boom. All right. All right. Oh, now... Shit. Now, it's cool you have starboard and port, so you can actually probably maneuver yourself with it. Four, and... <laughs> so, okay. Four, and then two for the other guy. For your uh, torpedoes. Combined. Trying to think of something Six, three. So we got three hits so far. Uh, no, we got uh, four hits. So four hits. Yep. Four hits. Okay. So now you still have your one PD and your one shoot. I, I wasn't in the mood for PD. So this is this is survival. You got a six. Oh, okay. So he's down, down to two already. Yeah, nice. No, yeah. So I don't I don't do any damage. Okay, I do. Can you guys do me a favor real quick? Do you mind taking a picture real quick? Uh, what, what do you want to see? Do you want to take a picture real quick? Oh, no, yeah. Those are Andrews, because I know Andrew did one. So he stopped it, and now you're going to shoot. Oh, now it's your turn. No, it's just turn. Now, now remember, you have beam weapons. Okay. When you get within 10 inches, you get to actually re-roll once. Okay. Because the beams are more concentrated. So I have to Here. stay within 10 inches or something like that? Oh, I'll take a picture of your game. Yeah, this is going to be a little <laughs> bit brutal for me, because I know you got those, those starboard okay. things. That's a lot. Smile. Oh, you've got the whole, uh... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Awesome. Completely forgot. Thanks, guys. 
and you were you were making a face. Now is there any <laughs> time when you get close to the dodge counter? They're like, oh, do you want to go? Oh no! Oh, one more thing I meant to say: the rule book is free online. By the way, like advantage. The rule book is free online, and the parties are free between these two. Well, if you get between the two and you got guns on either side, you can shoot both sides. Yeah. Gotcha. Unless you're Dean Trenzi, we don't, we don't, we don't do that. We have gun racks. We choose one side and say, "Hey, that's where we're shooting." Yeah, but he's not Dean Trenzi. No, I know. Now, can you do just part of the turn, or do you have to do that? You know, you can do part of the turn as long as you get up to that inch, that that like that conical. Yeah, these guys are real Brooklyn Italians, man. They don't mess around. They don't put stuff on there you're not allowed to. And the cool thing is, again, the, the rule book is online for free, and the uh, army's so that's far as you can get. Free. That's as far as so you can get. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to get your side guns. guns. Uh, that's that's definitely forward arc. Okay. Them free. Actually, you're only going to get to shoot um, one dude. Okay, so I'm going to go at this guy right here. They yeah. update them. To be honest, if you could have, I probably would have like faced him a little bit more towards the guy on the outside and then shot him the other one to the inside. We will be living with it. Yeah. If Richard right, so I got one guy here, starbucks, yeah, eight inches away. And you get that extra, was it, you get an extra die or is it you get an extra roll? And I think I get an extra roll. Together in one but box. He gets, he gets an extra process. roll for being within 10 inches? Was that what it was? No, no, uh, you get to reroll once. Oh, you get to reroll once. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm eight inches from this guy. So yeah, you're definitely in. Yeah, so... And then, torpedoes, where are they going? Uh, they'll go to this guy. All right, so we got, so you get three shots, essentially. Three shots, we're rolling ones. Yep, we're rolling ones. There's three rolls, three ones. And there's oh. a wonder that needs a reroll. Yep, let's see. No, 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 no help. Yeah. Not and the torpedoes. It. And so how many dice does he get? Two torpedoes it? within this range. So, yeah. what, how many dice is that? Two. Oh, thank God. Uh -huh. I might live. Not, not, not playing nope, like that. Nothing. nothing. And then you refresh again. All right, so we're back to the initiative. Now the cool thing is, he's gonna have a hard time now maneuvering his four fixed guns. Because he's close range. I have a nine, turns into a ten. What do you got? I have an eight. Yep. Uh, I get to go first. But I have he's to gonna try to try to figure out a way to get his guns focused on you and move half. Which I can ram, can I? No, not this. He got rid of that. Ah! Space. That was actually gonna be my, my next bit. I was like, yeah. I'll just ram him. You could try to board his ship. Then I can teach you that guy. Oh. What's your I, I hear the interesting thing about how, how close your AP is one. His crew points is three. So chances are I'm not gonna make. You get it. one and one. You can't shoot him, but you can always try. If I'm boarding him, he can't shoot me back. No, you can't shoot him. He can still shoot you. Oh, if I'm boarding. Okay. I didn't know if it was a game. <laughs> though, you know, too close. Okay. Uh, but I have to move five inches at least. Yes. That's gonna be the real trick. Oh yeah. Is this your cool? Welcome to Dindrenzi. <laughs> You know what though? My cannons are awesome. I'll tell you. No, wait, can he shoot to the rear? He, uh, his torpedoes can't. Uh, play, but his uh, guns can't. No, but he has zero turrets, so we can always kind of. Oh, that's true. Pleasure, guys. Five. I would I would count that as, as yes. Yes. No, that would be it. Okay. Your guns are not that effective at this close range, but it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. All right. Three. Yes, I did. I have more on the way. Three. When, I, when, t when school lets out. I don't know, I teach summer school. Four. That's right, after school lets I teach summer school. Four. Five. Oh. Uh, so, I, I assume this is, is legit. Yes. I'm making sure. I don't want to have. Oh, no, absolutely. Yes. Now, with this game, if you ever overlap a base, right. you always either push back the minimum distance you can, or you must go the full distance. Okay. All right, so. Uh, I would say probably going combined arms is gonna be my best bet. So this get, range? Yes, I'm gonna go six dice. Four, I mean, obviously, four, four. Obviously, it's gonna be. Well, it's actually gonna be six and six. And nice At this range, I get four, and then I get half again. So that's gonna be six for the mid connect guns. Then torpedoes are gonna be six, uh, four. Oh, you don't add torpedoes to the primary weapons. No, no, I'm talking oh. like I'm getting two rolls. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, six, six and six, yeah. 
Well, I see you trying to cheat for them. <laughs> Let me say, wait a minute. No. Yeah, no, it's six and six. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just want to make sure you see what yeah, I'm doing. You have your one so shield. Kiss the neck. Okay, this is the kinetic guns. So three, six, which is not a damage. It's it's it, it, oh, it should be a four fives. Oh, fours and fives. Okay. Yeah, they're a little bit more heavily armed. Not heavily armed. No, not good enough. Okay, so we're also doing the torpedoes. So now you have your shield and your PD. You're Again, doing, doing six dice. Dun, 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 dun. That's five. That's a crit. Two. There and that. I got a reroll. Yep. Well. Oh. <laughs> a nice mother. Oh no. See you on the other side, buddy. Okay. Four. All right, for the captain, this is where you need six, eight. All right, come on. You need, you need sixes. You need to stop four, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Double sixes? No. no. And that would be it. And that's squint. Good, good work, my man. That was close, that was man. Good good Believe it or not, you actually, <laughs> out of the gate, I was like, oh, crap. Because I only got three guys. I'm like, I'm going to get, you know, I thought you were actually going to split into two that's things. That's what I was going to try to do. I was going to try to column them out. Yeah, uh, yeah I thought you were going to go two here, two here. I'm like, I can't defend to the sides. I am and so And that's another thing with Indrancy. We don't do well with, um, multi-flanked kind of things. Which is where I thought you were going to go, and I'm like, uh, yeah, that's yeah, going to be an issue. So, so, like I was telling them, this was just a frigate battle. This was just mm -hmm. a very small frigate battle. When you start adding the mediums and the heavies and the capital ships and the carriers, and you start playing with the tactical cards, which mm -hmm. you customize the army, and also the ships can be customized as well with yeah. different hard points or different type of uh, 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 upgrades. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you have a game that is easy to learn, but it's miles, miles deep in now, tactical ability. Now, did you just play this game, or did you design this game? No, no, I, I, this is a company. This is a company that uh, I not work for, I guess. I guess. You, no, Smart what is it? Are you on their demo team? Yeah. You work for them. I work for them. Oh, very well, but, um, it's, it's, it, I mean, this game, uh, it's, one of, it's very balanced. None of the races, all the races play differently. There are about eight, 16 to 18 races. Mm -hmm. All played very differently. I mean, from right to left, you have the Brown, which are Hawker Industries, which is a corporation that very much loves the Terrans. So they both have the nukes, both have shields, but they're a little more heavily armored. You have the Dendrenzi, which, as you saw, very forward firing rail cannons. The Orange are the Terrakians, which are gravity guns. They can actually push and pull your ships forward and backwards. You have the Black uh, ship right next to the Orange one, which is the Ryushi, very battle carrier heavy, uh, very much fleet based. And then if you check out the rule book, there's just. Uh, an assortment of races in each play very different. Some races are better at boarding, some races are better at broadsides. Nice. Um, what is that big thing? That's just a blown up version of one of the Dendrenzi <laughs> ships to kind of give you an idea of what they look like. That's uh, pretty true. But um, yeah, no, this, this, and the other thing is you can, when you get more into the game, you get more, but the bigger games you play, you can target weapon systems.